So at this point in the process, we've either taken our LAS tiles, if you're doing, if you found LAS tiles for your LiDAR or your DEM tiles for LiDAR, and we've merged them together and we've got essentially a merged TIFF file. But that TIFF file is outside the boundaries of our inner. It's also outside the boundaries of our outer shape files that we created really early on in the process. We need to start trimming that, okay? Trimming that back so that it, it matches what we drew exactly. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let me uh, get out of here and go back into QGIS. And we're right here in QGIS and we're gonna select our outer TIFF file at this point. So this is our merged TIFF file. So you can see I've got enough LiDAR data here. Oops, I double clicked there. I've got enough LiDAR data here to cover our outer shape that we made. Okay, remember, if you don't have enough data to cover your outer, you gotta get more tiles, okay? So we're gonna come up, we're gonna highlight this and we're going to come up here at the top to raster go down to extraction and clip raster by extent now when this menu pops up the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to this guy whoops i'm sorry wrong menu and we're going to do calculate from it so this little drop down menu right here we're going to do calculate from layer and we're going to use our outer okay so we selected our outer there. Now, listen carefully. If, okay, you got your LiDAR from LAS files, you need to check this box right here, okay? So if you got your LiDAR from LAS files, you need to check that box. If you did got your LiDAR from DEM files, you do not check this box. I got my LiDAR from DEM files, so I'm not gonna check that box, okay? Now we're going to come down here to the advanced parameters tab. Okay. And this input, use input layer data type, we're going to select float 32. Okay. And then down here a little bit further, we're going to click this next to this clipped extent. We're going to click this down arrow and we're going to save the file. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we got our Oakmont LIDAR files, our Oakmont, you know, QGIS files here. And we're going to come into the height map directory and we're going to go into our outer and then we are going to name this file our project name in my case Oakmont underscore lidar underscore surface underscore outer okay and then I'm going to click save now you can see in here I've got all this data. I'm going to double check everything and I'm going to click run. That's going to, now I can hit close. And now we'll see that we have our surface LIDAR inner right here. And you can see what happened is we essentially trimmed this area out here. If I get rid of that, you can see that that is now matching my outer. And you can start to see how things are starting to come with that there. So I'm turning off my entire LiDAR data right now. And then there is my outer. So you can see that I've trimmed that to reflect my outer now. Okay, cool. So we now have our outer finished. Um, always a good idea. Let's come up here um, and I'm just going to save my QGS file. 